To embed a Power BI report in Teams, you need to choose the team, but also the channel on which you're going to embed this report. So for example, I'm working in the Market Project team in the Research and Development channel. And when I embed this, it's going to show up as a tab at the top of that Research and Development channel. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign here to add a tab. And the app I'm looking for here is Power BI, so I can either find it listed or search for it. So I'll go ahead and select Power BI. Right, and then I look at my specific spaces where I could find a report. And since I'm working in the Marquette project team, I'll go ahead and select that one. And I'm going to choose the consumer website traffic report. All right, and notice it did update my tab name automatically when I chose that report. But if that's a bit lengthy, you might just change this to something like dashboard or data or report. So we'll go for dashboard here. Maybe that's how my team members are familiar with this specific report. And if I'm not ready to post to the channel about it just yet, I might uncheck that box so I can announce it more formally at a later time. All right, when I'm ready, I click on save. And now in addition to my post files, wiki, and anything else that I've pinned to the top of my channel, I now have my dashboard tab as well. And it's fully interactive, just as if my users had gone out to Power BI. They still can go out to Power BI by using the globe icon. We can have a conversation about this report without affecting anything inside of it. And if it's multiple pages, my users can go from page to page right inside the embedded report itself. Now, in addition to pinning a specific report to a tab inside of a channel, you can also use Power BI from the left-hand nav. So to do that, we use the ellipsis. We search for Power BI, select that, and we'll go ahead and add it. Now notice when we first add it, it's showing up in italics, meaning that if I were to navigate onto any other node on my left-hand navigation, that's gonna go onto the ellipsis menu. And I don't want that to happen. I wanna make it easier to get to next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and right-click Power BI and pin it so it's permanently there. Now when I go to something else, it'll still be there so I can easily come back in one click. Now the Power BI app that you're adding to your left-hand navigation is not just one report, it's actually all of Power BI. You'll notice that I can scroll down and see all of my reports. I can go up to the top and see home, specific data sets, even create new content right from here. And then if I wanna expand my left-hand navigation, I use that hamburger icon there. And then notice it looks just like as if I were in the browser version itself. For a visual comparison, just keep in mind what you see here. When I go to the home and I'm looking at my left-hand nav, and then what you see when I go to Power BI itself, the same left-hand nav, and then if I click on Home, looks very similar. So it basically makes it a little bit easier to go back and forth from Power BI to Teams, and in fact, by bringing it inside of our Teams context, it creates one single place where we can go to do a lot of our work. So whether embedding a report as a tab inside of a channel, or whether you're using Power BI by itself just by pinning it to your left-hand nav, you can see how easily Power BI can be integrated with your Microsoft Teams experience.